I'm going to take a look at a fountain here at the Getty Villa near Malibu. It's really very beautiful. It's part of a recreated villa that was put here by Getty. And this is a recreation of a fountain that was that existed in Pompeii. And I'm going to look at some of the details here. It's really very beautiful. If you think about the idea of the fountain, water is about giving life. It's about having a basic need. And putting up a fountain in a spectacular villa like this is a symbol of great wealth since you're taking water, which is a basic life-giving element, and you're putting it into something that really is more aesthetic. And it's not about basic life, but rather pleasure and enjoyment. And there's a couple of details I wanted to point out that the docent mentioned. There are two masks on either side. And this one is said to be Dionysus or Bacchus. And this one is said to be Hercules. In the middle, they're not quite sure, that figure in the tile. Um, it potentially could be Poseidon or Oceanus. There's a lot of really beautiful detail within the fountain itself. There are shells, rows and rows of shells going around. And since it is a recreation, if on the original shells were missing, uh, you might find that some of the shells here are missing as well. It's a really beautiful, beautiful fountain with all kinds of very interesting details. The idea was basically to try and create a space where people could go and contemplate in quiet with the peaceful sound of the water and rejuvenate. Although many people have been to the Getty Museum, not everyone's heard about the other Getty, the villa near Malibu, so I'd encourage you to give it a try.